So to further elaborate on the course of COVID-19 infection, I thought I would present it in uh, this graph where we have the time course on the x-axis and the severity of illness on the y-axis. Those patients may go into two different phases. The first phase would be the viral response phase representing viremia and the second phase would be the immune phase or the host inflammatory response phase. And we also learned that those patients may go into three different stages. In the first stage uh, that represents early, in early infection, uh, patients may have constitutional symptoms, fever, uh, diarrhea, or headaches. Laboratory-wise, patients may have lymphopenia, increased PT, increased D-dimer, uh, LDH uh, elevation, and low to normal uh, procalcitonin level. If the patient doesn't get better, he may progress into the pulmonary phase where uh, the patient may have uh, cough, shortness of breath, or hypoxia. On the chest x-ray, we may see evidence of pneumonia. On the CT scan, we may see evidence of ground glass uh, opacities. Elevation of uh, liver function tests may be also seen. Some of those patients may progress into the hyperinflammation phase where uh, they progress into uh, ARDS-like uh, picture. Uh, they may have uh, systemic inflammatory response syndrome with shock and uh, cardiac uh, uh, injury. Laboratory-wise, they may have increased uh, inflammatory markers, mainly the CRP, LDH, ferritin, interleukin-6, D-dimers, troponin, and pro-PMP. The patient scores uh, on this uh, graph uh, may fluctuate. Uh, uh, it starts with uh, increasing uh, symptoms. However, patient may get uh, better by the end of the first week before the start of the uh, host inflammatory response uh, phase. And this is why we've seen the uh, uh, biphasic uh, course of this disease in some of those patients where uh, symptoms may get uh, better initially before they get uh, worse. So in terms of treatment, it probably makes sense uh, to start thinking that antiviral medications may benefit uh, patients in the early phase where we have viral response uh, uh, phase only compared to later phases where the viral response is diminished uh, and we have more inflammatory response. Uh, medications such as uh, remdesivir, hydroxychloroquine, or even the convalescent uh, uh, plasma transfusion would probably have better results if they start early in the course of the disease. And this is probably why we have conflicting results of the different trials, which might be related to the timing of uh, starting these medications. Uh, on the other hand, medications that target the immune response of the body, such as steroids, uh, tocilizumab, uh, or even the mesenchymal stem cells, may actually work better if we time start of these medications when we have a post-inflammatory response, mainly after the second week of the disease. Anticoagulation uh, is probably beneficial uh, in those patients uh, during this phase also, as the uh, inflammation is the primary inciting event uh, for more coagulation in the body. Thank you very much.